it's a it's a it's a practice which guarantees evolution personal evolution mm -hmm. so mahayoga says that uh, when you are when you have achieved peace uh, happiness uh, even enlightenment that's not the end of practice you know mm. or that's not the goal you know okay did you hear that everyone that is not the goal cool. enlightenment yes. <laughs> peace, happiness, all things we want to cultivate in our lives, all things we want to have very near and dear to us, not the ultimate goal. I love that. That is correct, Kyle. Yes, it's just a milepost, you know, mm -hmm. on your journey. Foundation. And the journey to move from happiness to greatness, mm. from peace to prosperity, from peace to power. Uh, from enlightenment to engagement in the world. Ah, yoga. It's also about moving from balance to to boundaries, so you can become who you can. Yeah. Become. Great. Yes. Great. He also. Uh, you also mentioned harmony, right? Mm -hmm. And so harmony is great as a foundation, um, as a springboard. Mm -hmm. Move from harmony to healing. You know, healing yourself, healing the world. <laughs> All right, tell me what is the difference between traditional yoga practices and Maha Yoga? Foundationally, what's the difference? Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, so, traditionally, uh, yoga uh, was uh, pra was designed and, and practiced based on uh, Patanjali Yoga Sutras. Mm. Have you heard the word name Patanjali? Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I've read yeah. the sutras. You have? Oh, wonderful, oh, yeah. wonderful, yeah. Uh, me too. And uh, I love, it's a poem, right? It's mm -hmm. like 40 stanzas or something and it's just beautiful. And uh, he's trying to teach the whole life philosophy, philosophy of yoga in this, those 40 uh, uh, sutras right mm -hmm. and it starts with this uh, thing right uh, yoga chitta vritti nirodhaha right that's the sanskrit uh, that's how he begins the, the sutras and so the, what that means uh, cessation of mental fluctuations right <laughs> and, uh, and that's what we're talking about right mental fluctuations means mind wandering mm -hmm. there are a lot of different uh, interpretations of mental fluctuations like some practitioners think mental fluctuations to end mental fluctuations you should not think mm. right? end of thought is end of fluctuations I, I disagree I think mental wandering is mental fluctuations mm -hmm. you know and because if you don't think you, you're dead Literally, scientifically, <laughs> biologically, <laughs> if you're not thinking, you know, consciously, subconsciously, the mind processes have to continue, yes. right, uh, to be alive. And so, the, the yoga chitta vritti nirodaha means cessation of mental wandering, which means to be present mm. in the moment. But not just that, but present as an integrated being which means your body and your mind and your consciousness, everything is united as one. And that's what he meant. Uh, that's how I interpret it, you know? Uh, so that's one difference between traditional and the way I uh, am teaching it under Mahayoga. Mm -hmm. And then the second uh, main difference is the, the idea of, uh, of yoga being a practice to to evolve you know it's a it's a it's a practice which guarantees evolution personal evolution mm -hmm. right and evolution is guaranteed right that's what the scientists say totally yes <laughs> and you see that in nature right we're evolving even as we speak now but how about personal evolution right mm -hmm. individual evolution and so yoga practice uh, in Mahayoga is about uh, personal evolution and so Mahayoga says that uh, when you are when you have achieved peace uh, happiness uh, even enlightenment that's not the end of practice you know mm. or that's not the goal you know? okay did you hear that everyone that is not the goal cool. 
enlightenment, yes. <laughs> peace, happiness, all things we want to cultivate in our lives, all things we want to have very near and dear to us, not the ultimate goal. I love that. That is correct, Kyle. Yes, it's just a milepost, you know, mm. on your journey. And the journey is never ending. Like, see that horizon right there, right? If you try to reach there, you can never reach, right? Because as you move forward, <laughs> it will expand. It will go further and further. And so it is with evolution. The inherent nature of evolution is that there is no end to it. And so why to stop at peace, right? Mm. Why to stop at happiness? Uh, and why not to use that happiness and peace as your anchor, as your foundation to move from happiness to greatness, mm. from peace to prosperity, from peace to power, uh, from enlightenment to engagement in the world. And, uh, and so uh, in Maha Yoga is what uh, we teach, is, is to keep moving, keep evolving, and uh, uh, become great, you know? Uh, the meaning of the word Maha is greatness. And uh, so Maha Yoga is yoga of greatness. And so guys, I don't in just invite you, but I challenge you to move from happiness to greatness. Mm. <laughs> she likes it. <laughs> <laughs> Have you, uh, do you accept my challenge, Kyle? <laughs> I sorry, do. I didn't mean to put you no, on the spot. I I'm accept sorry. the challenge from happiness, peace to greatness. And I love that because happiness is readily available to us very much these days in everything that we have, in all of the um, abundance around us, the computers we hold in our phone, mm -hmm. in our hands. Um, so to me, this idea of happiness is obtainable. And then where do you go from there? I think yeah. a lot of people don't know where to go from there. And that's what has caused a lot of the anxiety and depression in our world these days is because we have overstimulated ourselves with no trajectory as where to channel that energy. And like you said, to use it as the foundation and not the end Goal. trajectory. Goal. Yeah. I have a question for you guys. Do you set breathing as your goal? No, you just breathe, right? Happiness should be like that. You're just happy. Peace should be just like that. You're just peaceful, right? And then you just move forward, right? Happiness, it just is, you know? Mm. It just is. And, and the kind of happiness I'm talking about is where you are welcoming sadness. You're welcoming sorrow. And what I see today's happiness, uh, not in everybody, but in a lot of people is they're happy, but then they cannot deal with sadness. Mm. That is not happiness. That just feel good. That's just pleasure kind of uh, mindset. And uh, uh, so the best way to confirm that you're happy is to make sure that you can also be sad and, and be able to deal with it. Uh, Process through that. Yeah. Process through that. Yeah. Because... Uh, uh, I have to tell you, you cannot be happy 24-7, 365, you know, and so, uh, and that's life, and so. And that shouldn't be the goal either. You want to have a life full of, you know, a full life entails all the emotions, all of the, the waves of the journey, you know. Yeah, <laughs> beautiful, because um, happiness, peace, uh, even balance, right? Mm. And we've talked about it, right? Yeah. Like balance, right? Uh, as Carl was saying, um, like you want to explore the totality of life, right? You have you want to figure out what you can do, who you can become, you know, what is your uh, uh, cap capacity, right? Mm. And so, to do that, you will have to move from like the balance to the boundaries, right? You have to expand your comfort zone, your envelope, and and try new things, and 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 I have to tell you. I live on the edges, guys. <laughs> I really do. And that, that makes life uh, so much uh, fun, you know. So, 
Maha Yoga, it's also about moving from balance to, to boundaries. So you can become who you can become. Yes. We were speaking earlier and I loved what you were saying because foundationally in traditional practices in yoga, we are focused on balance. We are focused on peace. We are focused on harmony and happiness and all of these things. And the idea that that's still all there in Maha Yoga, but that's foundation, right? right. That's the base. And then we're going up from here. So you we're not saying to not have access to peace and pleasure and prosperity and like all of these things, but that balance is the foundation for meeting your boundaries, for exploring your boundaries, for pushing your boundaries. If you don't have balance, you're gonna fall over and your boundaries are rather close to you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a very important point because Without balance, if you try to uh, reach out to the edges or try to live on the edges, you, you can hurt yourself. Mm. Uh, that's a very important point. So uh, glad you mentioned that. And uh, also uh, the other thing is, you made such a good point that I forgot everything else. <laughs> 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 it is a great point. Thank you. I, well, I just want them to know because I think a lot of people would be like, oh, well, I want peace in my life. I want happiness in my life. I want balance in my life. And we want you to have all of those things in your life too. But that not being the goal, right? Like to, to understand that once you've achieved this uh, beautiful balance, not only on your mat, but off of your mat mm -hmm. in life, yep. then there is more to do from there. And I yeah. love that idea. Great, yes, great. She also, uh, you also mentioned harmony, right? Mm -hmm. And so harmony is great as a foundation, um, as a springboard. Mm -hmm. Move from harmony to healing. Mm -hmm. You know, healing yourself, healing the world. And uh, and uh, Kyle, uh, I I understand. That's who you identify yourself as? Definitely, All right. absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I definitely identify as a healer. I think that we all have the capacity to tap into the healer within us. And um, those moving in the world as healers have the power to um, help you or guide you to find that healing power within yourself, so. Cool, yeah. Accessible that... to all. <laughs> <laughs> That, that power to heal yourself and then eventually be able to heal others. Yeah, I think that's a great power. And uh, again, it has to be begin with yourself. Yep, with yes. Self-healing, right? Mm -hmm. I know we were mentioning this uh, moments ago, but everything stems, everything in your life, every relationship you have, every job experience you hold, every, you know, everything that happens is a direct reflection of your relationship to yourself to yourself yeah. yes absolutely yeah everything starts right here absolutely yeah which is great because i i'm we have so many things we've talked about i love all of this we'll, we'll go we'll do a whole video on this one one day but the idea of the difference between selfish and self-centered mm -hmm. Catch us on the next one, okay? You bet. Yeah, it's Because pretty... that one is um, really life-changing for me specifically, and um, the idea that selfishness isn't a bad thing. Ooh, challenging those beliefs and challenging ourselves in what we believe and how we move forward. But yeah, selfishness is not necessarily a bad thing. <laughs> Claps on that one. <laughs> I agree 100%, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Until next time.